Greetings and welcome everybody. My name is Lakita Maka. As you know that in this channel, all I'm trying to do is to promote education, sharing knowledge um, the best way I can. Um, Benjamin Franklin once said that an investment in knowledge pays the best interest. I don't want to lie guys, um, education is costly, it costs money, it costs time and these are often hard to find. I acknowledge all the efforts um, that have been made by either individuals or the public as well as the private institutions to ensure that there is investment towards um, education, especially for the African child. So in this video, I'll be sharing just five bursary opportunities with no particular order. Um, these are for agricultural students um, that are still open. They are still open and so yeah all the bursaries that i'll be sharing are closing either in october in august september or october so as much as they are just five but they are still quite a few that are open so you can check that you can also leave a comment in the section below if um, you want names of the bursaries that are still open that is if you cannot uh, find them so yeah let's get to it so the first one is the Elsenbeck agricultural institute so this is an institute um uh, a training institute under the Western Cape Department of Agriculture. So it provides education, it provides training as well as girls to students, mostly specializing in agriculture. So the bursary they offer is only open to applicants which want to study at the college. So if you are interested in um, studying at the Elst Elsenbeck College, then you can apply for this bursary and the application forms are available online. And if you have any inquiries, you can use the information on the screen um, down below. So this bursary closes um, on the 30th of September. Then coming to the second one, uh, potatoes essay. So with uh, potatoes essay, um, this is basically for the students who are interested in potatoes. So if you have a research that is potato related, um, if you have interest, even if you're an undergrad, but you know that you have interest in potatoes and the likes then you can apply you will receive priority for this bursary but it doesn't mean that it limits other agricultural students but those that um, have um, interest in pursuing research in potato related field then they will be given the priority so for you to be able uh, or rather to be eligible for this bursary as an undergrad or diploma um, student you should be a second year in the field of agriculture and you should excel in in your academics but that applies for both undergraduates as well as postgraduates as well as you should be a South African citizen that also applies to postgraduate students you should have a proof an official proof of registration that also applies to postgraduates so with postgraduates you should either be doing your honors your masters or phd and your research should be related to, related to um, potatoes so your research proposal should be potato related and this bursary closes on the 31st of October 2021 and the, the application forms are also available on, online and then you can um, just email them to the email address on the screen but if you don't have access to email address you can still fax it but I would advise that you um, 
you create an email address if you don't have access right now so that when they reply they can be able to get hold of you then coming to the third one the third one is the citrus academy so with the citrus academy just as potatoes essay if you have if you have interest in citrus then this is for you this is for you um it it also um aims to address specific challenges in the citrus um, industry so the students that have interest in um, citrus production if you have interest in certain research on oranges lemons um, nuts, all the other citrus that you can think of then this bursary is for you so there are no specific requirements or that um, strict requirements uh, for this one just as the previous one you should be studying in a south african institute you should be doing uh, plant production crop production pathology horticulture soil sciences entomology microbiology agricultural economics agricultural management agricultural production management of which i think this includes um, agricultural extension as well um, agricultural engineering industrial engineering or mechanical engineering and of course you should be um, excelling on your academics that is one of the of the aspects um, the buses would look for and this closes on the 15th of september so if you want more information on this you can just visit their website and the information or the link is um, on the screen down below then coming to the fourth one now this is gwk um bursary. so with this one um it it, it offers um a bursary for your registration your tuition as well as they give you a book allowance so for you to be able to qualify you should be a south african citizen you should have um completed your metric you should also have a good academic record and you should be studying or planning to study in any of the recognized tertiary institutions and then if you want to apply one you can either apply online or you can download the form then you email the form to the email address on the screen so these are the documents that are needed. So they will need your ID, they will need your latest exam result, they will need your CV, the cost details, the fees that are involved. Um, that includes your tuition fees, the prescribed books, as well as um, registration fees. So if you are applying um if you are downloading the form then get this ready print them out but if you are applying online then make copies and then you scan them so that you can attach them so again the link is on the screen and this one closes on the 31st of august coming to the fifth one the south african national seed organization So with the South African um, National Seed Organization, um, they offer bursaries to postgraduate students. So if you are pursuing your postgrad, either honors, masters or doctorate, then this is for you. So it's aimed for students who want to go into the seed industry, then um, you should be doing research in the areas such as plant breeding, plant pathology, entomology, agronomy, um, horticulture, pasture sciences, biotechnology, plant um, 
physiology, genetics, uh, as well as molecular plant biology, all the sciences in agriculture. Right. So this is basically open to South African citizens who qualify for the admission of either honors, masters, or PhD degrees at any of the recognized tertiary institutions which offer agriculture. So if you want to apply, again, the information is available on, um, on the, on the online so you can check their website you can find you can go to google you just click um you just type um uh sanso then you will find it then if you have any inquiries they have um details there so they have um included the projects and research officer on their form um, and the email is on the screen below so if you want to apply for this if you are interested in this one uh, the closing date is the 30th of september 2021 as much as i have just talked about only five but these are not the only bursaries available they are there is um, South African table grape industry. It's it's still open. Um, Department of Agriculture, Land Reform and Rural Reform also offers a bursaries, but I'm not sure of the closing date, as well as AgriCita also um, offers uh, bursaries. Um, Krisani uh, Municipality in the Eastern Cape also has bursaries available for agricultural students as well. And Alfredo um, Municipality also have uh, bursaries available. So use this opportunity, grab this opportunity, apply as many bursaries as you can until you get the one that is that suits your need. So use this opportunity and I wish you all the best much love.